Well, I'm uh, working on this uh, earthen beds, and I just kind of want to pass on what I'm learning. And uh, this seems like a really good time because you can see what's inside of all of this. So, well, let's start out here with um, a little uh, general hydroponics pump. Right there. There you are. Can you hear it? <laughs> uh, excuse me for I'm swatting mosquitoes out here. They're terrible. Uh, there's my four airlift pumps, and that water can be higher, but I kind of just wanted to see the water returning from the system. I think it'll get stronger. It just started. So, oh. so these are the, the four airlift pumps. And there's the, the water. You know, it's not a lot, but you don't really need a lot. It's uh, just enough to keep this circulated and aerated. So what I did here was I came into the side and I heated up, uh, I heated up this IBC and I heated up that, uh, um, that drain pipe. I'm using one inch pipe for my line in. And uh, so I drilled an inch and a quarter hole and by heating up the plastic just a little bit, it, it slid right in. This is kind of nice because I can now see my water going in. I can see my water level. Just like in a working bed, you can see your water level. So what I've done here is there's water in here and it stays four inches deep, whereas my rock stays six inches deep. Then there'll be a, um, a barrier, uh, either a, uh, say a shade cloth, or um, you could use uh, weed cloth. Anyway, that'll go over the top of all of this rock. And then there'll be a mixture of um, clay and sand and compost go in. Uh, this is uh, sand and compost from my from my previous wicking beds that I uh, disassembled and I, I'm building these in place of it. So this is my drain pipe and it, it goes right into this uh, 55 gallon barrel. And then this is my manifold for uh, all of the uh, this is where the water spills out. And what I did was, I used a piece of 4-inch uh, drain, perforated drain pipe, and I, I um, put that over the end of this 2-inch uh, pipe. And the reason I did that was just to keep the, keep the rocks out, away from, away from the, um, the entrance to that, uh, to that drain. Now, what I also did here to make life a little easier was I put two stakes in the ground. There's one and one at the other end and then I put a, a, a string which I leveled first and then I determined that I needed a four inch drop from one end to the other and so I just dropped one end down. I dropped that end down over there then I had a consistent measurement from the bottom of the T, or actually my measurement began at the top of this, uh, of that elbow along here because um, I didn't have the T's on. What I did was I measured how much I had to drop to be consistent to that, the drop that I determined by putting the string there. And uh, so then I made appropriate length um, connections, so each one is a little different. And uh, so now that drops at one quarter inch per foot. These pipes along the side here also drop at one quarter inch per foot. And it just, uh, it just makes sure that everything keeps draining and uh, 
since you don't get a bubble in there, a puddle makes it all flow pretty good. So let's go back over here. I'm just curious what the, the output looks like. I think that ought to be about ready. Yeah. Okay, now it's not a great deal of water, but uh, you know it, it will be quite a bit more when I fill this up because this this barrel can be full all the way to the very top and it'll still be below the water level over here <clears throat> in my uh, in my beds. So that's what I'll do. I'll add about another foot of water into this and uh, I have tested this before and I can tell you I will get about four times that amount of water. That was uh, right there what you're seeing. Uh, looks like what I had coming out of um, coming out of this each one of these uh, airlift pumps. Now I see that this one's kind of bubbling over a little bit, and there will be a, a you know a piece of one inch pipe at the top just to to keep that from happening. Oh, let's see. Well, I'd say one of the other important things when doing this is just. Get everything leveled to begin with. It makes it makes working with things so much easier. Um, oh, okay. Here's another thing. Uh, when I put this manifold together, now I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. This is how I did it, and uh, I, I. It's kind of one of the most difficult parts of this is making this manifold. What I did was I, I, put my, uh, pipe through the um, uniseal and in the IBC and I put my uh, elbow on there then I measured to determine how long I had to make that pipe that extends down to those T's and I built that entire manifold first and then I I pushed it up into the elbows and that was really hard to do so what I did was I, I put um, some clamps on it and uh, by using the pressure of these of the clamps I was able to uh, push those connections together um, yeah like I say you maybe you'll find a different way to do things and uh, that's easier but that's what worked for me so I'll be getting my uh, my cloth in here I think what I'll probably do is use weed cloth and uh, oh yeah here's one other little tip I can give you what I first did was I I filled the, this up with water and I made it four inches deep and I marked that on the outside then I marked two inches above that then I put these elbows in and I I turned them up so that I could fill this up to that second line which would be six inches and after filling this in you know filling it up with water six inches deep I was able to dump my rocks in spread them out and get them almost perfectly level across the top you know because it would just match up to the surface of the water then I drained the water out down to the four inch level and uh, so that's what you see now is is the six inches of rock with the four inches of, of water in each of these. Um, let's see, just, just for grins. It's getting kind of dark here, so I'll see if I can get this, but... Yeah, oh, yeah I got a little flashlight in my pot. Oh, I don't have my flashlight with me. But anyway, yeah, there's the water going in. Okay, I'll... Uh, I'll be making some follow-ups. Oh, just to save any confusion, I want to mention these little uh, half-inch pipes that were coming up here. I used to have a garden in here, and um, that's not there anymore. And these, they were raised beds and uh, wicking beds, actually. And these, uh, these delivered water to the wicking beds. But uh, that'll, that'll all come back up out of there. I just wanted to let, make sure that you knew that that wasn't part of what was going on here.